Zoe likes to play this little game where she brings her gator, but she teases me with it. Because as soon as I grab it, she's going to grab it. <laughs> Drop it. And then she tries to put it in my hand. Hello, Alan Key, our first stop in the Exuma. Zoe, are you happy? You get to play now. So we're scouting out rocks that we need to avoid. Anchored all up. Here in Allen's Key. Where do you see some iguanas? Well, you're in luck, babe, because there's iguanas right over there. The little island that we anchored up next to has a ton of iguanas on it. Like, upwards of 50 iguanas just hanging out on the beach. We're going to head on over and try to make some friends with the iguanas. There were two boats when we got in here and it's only been like 30 minutes and... There's there, a few more. There's just a couple more. We must have been leading the pack. Because this they all came in right behind us. Multiplied. Insanity. They're everywhere. I dug the oh. I don't, okay, coming from all directions. I'm not down with that. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy's plotting on me right here. These are the Allen Key iguanas. They occur nowhere else on Earth. Iguanas are the largest native land animals of the Bahamas and are herbivores. They are protected by the Bahamas National Trust. It is illegal to harm or harass them. Yeah, kids, we saw some kids harassing them earlier. You must have got a scrumptious treat. Oh, I didn't want any. Watch your six, you got one sneaking up on you over here. Oh, he diverted. He's so little. Ow, he bit me! He went past the thing and bit my hand. You're Look, gonna have to gonna take to one for too. the team. Not doing it again, that really hurt. He bit me. Look, this one's trying to bite me too. He's trying to go past the past the leaves and bite me. Maybe they've gotten the taste of human. Oh my gosh. Hey, if you don't want any, that's cool dude, but you don't want to bite me. Watch out dude, back up. Uh. Oh, they're all fighting now. Look at them all. It's like they're charging, trying to scare me or something. <laughs> They're all trying to figure out how to take down this guy so they can get a piece of the pie. He put his hand in there. <laughs> he just whips them if they get anywhere near him though. Yeah, Ariel making homemade tortillas for fish tacos. We're gonna cook up that mahi mahi. Actually, she already cooked it that we caught the other night. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Fish tackle. Yeah. Fresh mahi. Fresh tortillas, fresh mahi. Fresh ceviche. Oh my god. Is it good? Very good. That'll do, pig? That'll do. So the water here in Allen's Key is ridiculous. You can see, it's not hard to see what our anchor line's doing. Just gotta look over the side. About, we're in about 12 or 15 feet of water. And it looks just like a swimming pool. It's beautiful. Why is Chris's bum in the air, you ask? <laughs> We're trying to find a place to go swim today because the weather is absolutely perfect and the water is just like a swimming pool. It's so beautiful. So, I'm sticking his face in the water. No dice. No dice. About 10 or 12 feet deep. No coral or anything down there? No, it's just a little bit of seaweed and rocks. Unfortunately. The search continues. Drop the anchor in that little that little colorful patch. <laughs> Join us next time as we move further down the Exumas. We experience our first drift dive and we use our hiking legs to get us to a spectacular view. There are T-Rex. Oh, is that what a T-Rex sounds like? I think so. No, <laughs> not even. I'm not a paleontologist, not sure. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you can get notifications when we upload a video. Also, head over to our Instagram and our Facebook and check out the posts that we put up there. That's all for now. Ta-ta!